Hello, this is Jazz Guitar Lessons Berlin. Last week we talked about a line that Wes Montgomery is playing in bar 8 of his first blues chorus. You'll find a transcription for free download at my website. And um, today I'd like to have a look um, at the chords Wes Montgomery is playing over. In a standard jazz blues progression, you'll find a D dominant 7th chord in bar 8. But the line Wes Montgomery is playing in bar 8 clearly outlines an A flat minor 7 D flat 7 progression. The line goes like this. If you want to know more about it, you can skip back to the lesson before. I explained a lot about the uh, line there. But today I'd like to um, talk about the underlying chords. So he's playing A flat minor, D flat 7. And it's no wonder uh, he's using uh, a Parker blues. He's playing in the middle uh, four bars of the blues. He's using the chords of a Parker blues progression. The chords are B flat 7, B flat minor 7, E flat 7, A minor 7, D7, A flat minor 7, D flat 7. And today I'd like to have a look at the underlying framework of that progression. But first I'd like to clear something up. Um, so if you are having a 5 chord, let's say a G7, like this, you can always if it's appropriate to the musical situation, play a D minor 7 before the G7. So you can always use the corresponding 2 chord to the 5 chord that is connected to the 5 chord. And the other way around as well, if you're playing D minor 7, G7, you could also um, only play the D minor 7 chord. So if we get back to the middle four bars of the blues progression, B flat dominant sevens, B flat minor seven, E flat seven, A minor seven, D seven, A flat minor seven, D flat seven, resolving into G minor seven, C seven. So if we take away the two chord. In our chord progression, uh, we start with B flat dominant 7, then skip the B flat minor 7 chord, just play the E flat dominant 7, skip the A minor 7 chord, just play the D7, skip the A flat minor 7 chord, just play the D, play the D flat 7, skip the G, major, G minor 7 chord, just play the C7 chord. So we end up with this progression. And in the next step, we would replace every second chord with its tritone substitute. We end up with this B flat dominant 7, A7, that's the tritone substitute, D7. G7, C7. So that leaves us with a cycle of fifth progression. It's just an ordinary cycle of fifth progression that is very well disguised. So let's get back to bar 8, A flat minor 7, D flat 7, to G minor 7, C7. Another way of looking at it could be to say G minor 7, C7 to F, it's just the 2 5 in F, the blues is in F, it's a 2 5 progression in F. But before the G minor uh, appears, you play the A flat minor 7, D flat 7. So it's a descending chromatic 2 5 that leads into the G minor 7. So that's the thing, or one of the things we can learn uh, from this uh, part of the tune, is you can always lead into a 2-5, the 2-5 of the tonality the tune is in, 
with a chromatic 255 progression from above. So there are some tunes where you can use this uh, device very easily. It would be, um, it could happen to you. You stepped out of the dream and Woody and you. We discovered a great tool to add more interest to a more or less predictable 2-5 situation and you can use it in a lot of tunes. Maybe you can come up with a harmonization of the melody with this newly found device. And next week I'm going to show you how I'm going to insert this uh, chromatically descending 2-5 progression into these tunes. So, and last but not least, I'm going to play the solo, half notes, 100 beats per minute. See you next week. One, two, one, two, three, four.